back up in El Machino, or maybe El Machino, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Just really hope I haven't butchered it completely, but I'm thinking that we'll start off the, oh, the episode by getting this mod as well. It's going to be useful for what we've got planned, because even though we haven't really gone too far deep down, I'm thinking that we'll just spend the episode going back through what we have done just to clean up a little bit. Um, as well, our first goal, or our next goal for... Or our next point to complete the story. Yeah. Next story progression is entering Shining Country. I've seen plenty of creatures down the mines, but none as fickle and dangerous as Shiners. The war was before my time, but I've had my share of skirmishes with those hay seeds. No use talking to them, just hit them as fast as you can. Might seem a bit brutal, but I wouldn't take any chances. <laughs> Again, just I just really love the fact that this game just has... A lot of NPCs, oh, NPCs just around and you just have chances to talk with them. Um, or they have like new dialogue for like pretty much everything. Um, okay, yeah, I think that would have been the way to go. Just essentially. Um, but yeah. Uh, I uh, definitely need to go back up again because water is just expensive. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I just. Uh, just kind of feels weird. Because, um, like, I did get Pokemon or Pokemon Scarlet yesterday, but, like, man, I. It kind of feels weird because, like, it, in two ways, it feels like an upgrade from Legends Arceus, but then again, it also feels like a downgrade. Although that could just be me because uh, I'm fairly sure, at the very least, you don't have um, a first-person camera angle in Scarlet, but you did in Arceus, and, uh, <laughs> man, the targeting system in Scarlet just, it's going to get some, it's going to take me a while to get used to it, used to, too, because it does not feel good in the slightest, um, in fact, it might have been just because I wasn't really paying too close attention to the um, dialogue, but to the text, uh, I didn't really know that there was a targeting system. Um, but, because uh, <laughs> like, um, early on I was trying to find uh, forget what it was exactly, um, but a Pokemon that is found up in trees. Uh, I had no idea how to interact with that Pokemon. Um, and I think I just kind of had to get lucky and just hope that I could target it. Because, man, um... Going from the targeting system to oh, in Arceus, which is more snappy and rigid. Um, in fact, uh, <laughs> a lot of the times it would just target a Pokemon you weren't even facing, um, which is an issue in and of itself. But to not even or being even like to have to be a specific distance away from a Pokemon to be able to target it is just worse, I think. Um, it's like I, I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking. Um, 
because I think I heard that um, Arceus was being made alongside um, Scarlet. But then again, it's like, eh, like why? Why game? It's kind of like they heard the or like heard complaints about um, the targeting system being unruly, or somewhat unruly in Arceus. So they just went the other direction and said, "No, you 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 don't get a targeting system." Essentially, that's just what it feels like. Um, cool. Just really glad we can quickly move up to where we want to go with the X button. Uh, I don't know where I'd be without it. Okay. Um. Not entirely sure I need to get absolutely everything here, but I'll just do it just to be safe. Um. Uh, another thing. Uh. Okay, cool. Uh, it's probably something I noted beforehand, but I just forgot. But yeah, uh, if you don't want to deal with cactuses, we can just get a resource to do it for us, I guess. Um. Although I just really don't like the whole chain reaction thing. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So I guess now we're getting to a thing again of I'm not entirely sure. On um, with uh... okay, so I th think it wants we want it to be down one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one easy, but uh, something that is good to note is if we die in a cave, we will respawn in the cave, and I'm fairly sure we don't even lose any resources. Uh, these caves are just like a checkpoint of sorts, but I'm not entirely sure if um, those deaths count. Would be weird to say that they don't, but all the times I've died, like, I think if I... If my first death is in a cave in this game, um, you'll, usually by the time I get to the end, um, okay, cool. Yeah, usually by the time I get to the end, um, I don't remember just how many, just how many times I've died. Um, not only that, but I have usually died in the mine proper. So, not entirely sure on if that's going to go anywhere. Um, so I think I might have mentioned this beforehand, but a bit weird to mention it in like the fifth episode. <laughs> but like, yeah. Uh, if we don't get the hardcore achievement, which is doing or playing the game without dying once, um, by the time I get to, um, by the time I finish the impossible dream, I'll get the impossible dream. Um, that's when I'm going to send an episode for it, even if we would get it in the impossible dream. Oh, yeah. If I don't get hardcore before attempting the impossible dream, um... I'm probably going to set aside an episode for that. Um, so yeah, uh, if there's no 
episode dedicated to the impossible dream or to hardcore uh then you know that um i got lucky essentially okay um Are you... Are you kidding me? Where the fuck is a... I'm not entirely sure what they're called. You. Come here. Thank you. Okay, how much is it? I mean, hello. Um, I got a new shipment of parts. Yeah, we let you upgrade pretty much all your tools. I mean, upgrade them even more. Neat, huh? Um, what do you want to do? That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. No, but yeah, we definitely want that. Um, as... Wait, how much is it? Actually, why don't I have that open? I, de I definitely should. Um, I'll get rid of that to put this on for now. Also, uh... <laughs> Getting back to my rant about Pokemon Scarlet, uh... I definitely want to say that... I re... not really a fan of how the, of how the whole wit of thing with Shinies work, um... It's definitely like they took away the Shiny Puff. We're gonna be. Okay, I guess this definitely works to explain my ranting about Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon games. Uh, yeah. Um, for some reason, they not only decided to make a lot of the new shinies have, like, be very subtle, and um, not only that, but they definitely upgraded some of the. Um, textures so things look all washed out more so than usual uh for example uh there have been many times which i thought a regular ghastly was a shiny just because um uh, also doesn't really help that um uh they have low like the low uh, low poly versions of themselves change up a little bit. Um, I can think, for example, um, Shoppet's shiny, or Shoppet's low poly definitely looks a bit shiny, a lot like its shiny form. So it's like, oh, did you find a shiny, or did you just find a low low poly version of it? Um, Okay. All this to say that um, there's no sparkle animation anymore. Uh, if you find a sh shiny, or like the only way to f know you find a shiny is if you encounter it and you know it was a shiny beforehand. Um, which definitely sucks. Um, <laughs> although that being said, I can't completely complain because uh the first two days I've got in it uh I've already found two shinies um not my most favorites Pokemon because they were um a Scovit and a Youngers which I mean <laughs> If I'm completing, if I'm following the trend, or if I want to follow or complete the trend, or continue the pattern, I should say, uh, I should definitely find a trend hunt a Luchonk as um. I definitely want to say they did get creative with um the ways to evolve shiny Pokemon Pokemon this time around. Um, 
and through that way. I'm not like I'm not entirely sure just ha if I don't want to waste my time leveling up a Pokemon to find out it has a different way to evolving than just leveling up. Um, like the way you evolve. Um, I forget the name. Um, the new Do Dolphin Pokemon. Uh, like how like you need you you would need to look that up um, because it's kind of ridiculous, um, utterly ridiculous if you don't mind. Uh, but then again, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, jumbles. Uh, yes. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to keep myself spoiler free from um. Uh, shiny forms of the shiny forms of the new Pokemon, but my default website I go to, Cerebi, uh, kind of just lists the shiny Pokemon alongside the normal parts of normal kind of forms. Um, so I've already seen um, a few of them just because I wanted to know how you would evolve them. Um, like Dolov, for example. Um, not a bad shiny. I definitely want to go for it. Um, although I'm not entirely sure if I want to just stick with a shiny Pokemon the entire way through the game. Just because I, I, I like the sparkle animation. Definitely going into a hot take here, but. I just wish you could turn it off for the Pokemon that you send out because um, I definitely get the feeling that seeing it over and over again would be a little bit annoying. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's that is partially the reason why I um, for the majority of my hunts, well, a lot of my hunts for um, coughing instead of leading with um, my shiny Gallade. Nice, don't know you could do that. Um, yeah, instead of leading with my shiny Gallade, um, I am leading, I, I chose to lead with a once a level 69 Wooper. But it's now level um, 75. <laughs> it's just pain. So yeah, getting back to the, my original point with just the way that um, Pokemon Evolve just being weird. Um, them kind of getting creative. Uh, I kind of assumed that Capra Kid, um, one of the new Pokemon, would evolve into Skull Villain at a really high level. Uh, no, apparently it evolves via a Fire Stone. Which, I mean, okay? It kind of makes sense, but... To me, it would have made more sense if it just evolved naturally through level up. Um, uh, although, uh, one thing I do, one thing I do say, I would say I like about the game is, um, because of its open nature, or oh, open world nature, uh, you can just go anywhere and for a lot of the reason, like a lot of the time, um, you can just find, or like, one thing that they didn't need to do, but something I did like that they do, is um, you can find evolved forms of Pokemon in the wild. Um, like, I totally wasn't expecting it to happen, but I found a wild Lilligant just around. Before I found a um, Petalil. Just like, what? 
Why would you do that? So, uh... So I just love how I kind of set up the episode to just be, like... Sticking to up here for the most part. Okay. Is that that's something I'm thinking it is? Huh. I kind of love how this kind of just devolved into us making progress, but more so just make oh, collecting money. Yeah. Although that being said, I want to say for the most part I have already completed the ejectors I th set up to do this recording session. Um, Although that being said, uh, <laughs> surprisingly for the early game, there's not that many we can do, so yeah. Um, which has, oh, isn't there any caves that we've come across that we haven't done yet? Okay, it's just that one. I think I'll end off the episode by going to the... and exploring that. Um... The other way, I do. Eh? What's down here? All right, cactus. Uh, this episode's gonna be weird to edit. Uh, okay. Wait, do you... Okay. Thankfully, I heard that. Thankfully I heard that, because otherwise I would have missed that. Um, what are we doing? Okay. Um, do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know this is like the first area and all, well, quote great first area, but for the fifth episode, us already finding over half of the secrets it has, uh, huh. That is interesting. Yeah. No, wait. I need to call my jets. Let's, let's do the thing I said I was going to do and then... Next episode, I can do that. Then we can do that. I don't want to get ahead of myself too much. Um, uh, was that something we needed to do? Like what? Wait. Okay, no, thankfully we have that. Because I was going to say, did we need an up a future upgrade to do this? Although... Okay, I think it's going to be the first time we get something. Oh. We go into a cave, but we don't up. We don't complete it. Um, hmm. Next episode. Come on, jets. <laughs> Do the next ep ep next episode. Um, okay. Um, so I'm thinking that next episode. Um, Although maybe in between episodes I'll go explore whatever that gap is because there's something I get the feeling it is or there's something I'm thinking it is but I'm not entirely sure it is that thing. Um, 
If it is that thing, then I'll leave for later. But if it isn't, then I... The way the path and curves just feels weird to me, I think. But I don't know. Until then, that has been awesome. you.